In this video, we are looking at AI writing tools, the ones that can help you write faster, better, and with less stress. We look at tools for fiction, non-fiction writing, and one tool that can work for both of them. Here, first up, for fiction writers, we have got Sudoride. Sudoride is a tool that can help you with your writing. It can help you with your writing scenes, fix your writing, and it can help you build your world. Just give it a few lines, and it will help you expand your ideas. This is a story that I'm writing. So if I click on the text and highlight something that I would like to change, I can go in and look for things that they and I can expand. For instance, if I would like to expand by the beach, the boy discovered a hawk. So let me insert that. So that goes in there. If I'm not happy with something, I can delete as well. And then I can exp expand something. Relating to the, the text, I can rewrite this. You can rephrase the text as well, or it can allow you to expand, or you can add language features to that. You can describe, or you can insert that as well. So you can change the setting, you can change the words that are there. You can also go and edit your work once it's done. Uh, you can stay organized, you can look at, uh, you can rewrite the whole thing. If I've got a text, uh, this is the text that I'm working on. I can go and rewrite the text. I can expand and so on. So this is to write a good tool that can help you to expand your life. The next tool is made for storytelling. I can use novel AI to create a story based on a prompt. So here's my prompt. If I click on that, it will come up with a set of notes that I can use. The main character, so if I come up with this click on that now this will continue my story and now i've got my storyline set up and i can build chapters on, on the same prompt that i had started with next up is a tool that can allow me to create notes on characters that i can use for my writing for instance if my class is studying a text i can use notes from this tool to create lesson plans, or I can create like a, a text on maybe a chat thing that I can use for my class as well. For instance, this chat with the main character Hamlet from Shakespeare's text Hamlet. Let's have a look at that. So if I click on that, and if I put a prompt in there, so it's telling me about Denmark. What was the main and that affected you. So if I put in this prompt over here, and then what it ha what will happen, it will keep giving me prompts, it will keep giving me ideas that I can use to develop my character. So here you go, another tool that you can use for your class to create notes and also to create a sort of a discussion platform for your students. Next is another tool that can help you with your fiction writing. So you have got copy.ai. Copy.ai helps you to create paragraphs and notes from a single prompt. So all I need to do here is I've got my paragraph. Now I'm trying to help check this tool and create more listen notes on a single topic. And here I'm discussing about the impact of climate change on coastal areas. Next up is a tool that can allow me to have discussion on PDFs. It can help me to create presentations. It can help me to create uh, essay writing tools. It can help me to create prompts for writing. For instance, if I got a question, what it does is it gives me a, a list of information on the particular topic so i can put a prompt in here and create notes same thing with creative writing as well so if i would like to create story around a character or it could be more about a novel that i'm studying i can put in a prompt here and it will help me to create notes for my class the next one is a chat with a pdf all you do is you upload a pdf in here and you have discussion on a topic. It could be some questions on the PDF that you have put in. 
the same with AI generator you can upload a doc and this will allow you to create PDP a presentation on that so all you do is you upload the doc here and finally you'll come up with a presentation that you can use for your class moving on the next tool is Lex this is a tool that I would really like for my class as well so what I do is normally I have a discussion with the class and we write a small paragraph and once we have done a paragraph this will help me to get, give feedback on the draft that they have written as a class it can also help you run brainstorming ideas give feedback on article ideas identify the weak points that are there so if I click on this it allows me to give feedback on what the class has written and similarly what will happen is I can go back and create more prompts that they can use as a group and then we can have discussion on areas that we can improve on so if I if I click on this it allows me to record what I'm saying and then play it later for my class as well so there's a lot of tools that you can use you can even copy the text that you have written share that with your class or you can just simply continue writing the final tool that I've got here is Quillbot. This is one of my favorite tools that I use for my teaching and planning as well. So for instance, I have written a paragraph and I would like to improve on that. So I've copied that and I'll put it in here, paste the text and I can check for my grammar. I can check uh, for, I can use that to summarize my text as well. So if I summarize that, it will come up with a short sort of paragraph that I can use. I can use, or if I really want to choose uh, in this option over here, which is more like a tool that, have, that can help me to detect AI. So if you click on that, it says it was written by a human. Let's have a look at another interesting thing. If I go back and pick something from here, and then paste it now if I detect that again what will happen is you can see that has a, it has detected that AI has generated this so this is a good tool that I can use to check my students work as well and now while I'm here let me show you another tool which is quill bot flow this is a tool that I can use to actually create some extra resources for myself and for my class so again it has a plagiarism checker it can review you can take notes on whatever has, has been displayed over here it can also allow you to create your research so if I'm researching on a topic I can use this so this is my lesson notes so if I'm looking at explanation of climate change I can go in here and look for text so explain climate change I click on that and it will give me a list of topics that I can use now if I explore one of those sources from here if I click on that and then I can copy and, and put a link in there of a tool that I can use for my lesson notes so basically this is a tool that you can use for various Find purposes the tools that I have discussed today in this video are Sudorite which helps you to write novels it helps you to write stories it helps you to edit your work and stay organized the next tool that i looked at was novel ai this helps you to write prompts for your writing it can help you to create chapters you can get students to write uh, things relating to our, a prompt that's given at the beginning of the class next one is character.ai that helps you to connect with characters from different times and from different texts as well you can use all these options over here as well you can use the new chat option you can use voice over as well next one for fiction writing is copy.ai then we looked at hex ai which can do all these things for you it can also come help you solve maths problems as well it can also help you to have chat with pdfs it can help you to create presentation from scratch and then the next one was lex 
which helps you to create discussions on writings that students have done. You can put this on, on the screen for students to have a look at. Students contribute to the discussion on writing on our concept, and then you can use the tools that are given to edit the work and make it better, right? Next one is Quillbot. Uh, this can be used as a paraphraser. It can help you to check your grammar. It can help you to summarize text that you have written. The next option would be a good tool to use would be AI detector that, that I've shown you. Then Quillbot Flow is another tool that you can use to make your writing quite precise. So if you found these tools helpful, do go ahead and comment in the in the section below which tools will you use in your class and do subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.